Hey everybody, this is CP Roll 43 with a new update for you guys. So I'm finally getting an update out after quite a long time, and I've got a whole bunch of stuff to talk to you guys about. So that is why I will be doing a two-part update for, I think this is the first time I've ever had to do it, do one like this. And uh, I'll be quite honest, I'm a little bit surprised to, that I had to do this, but I think it will take a lot of weight off my back than to just try and spit everything out into uh, one single video and try and keep it under like 10 minutes, which is I prefer. But anyways, we'll try and put this into two. We'll see how that goes. Maybe it'll be a lot better. I don't know. So I'm going to talk to you guys about in this update uh, some new details that I got and uh, what those details are and uh, then some electrical stuff that I picked up as well. And in the next update, I'll talk to you guys about the outcomes of those electrical uh, items and uh, then the, some stuff on the layout. So I want to get right ahead and uh, talk to you guys about the detailing that I've been doing. So I picked up some locomotive details. Those details are the MU cables which you see on the front of the uh, GP9U. And those are Details West castings. I'll show you the package they came out of. MU266, three cluster set, all roads. And uh, really happy with them. I'll show you uh, what they look like right out of the package. Uh, I painted the, them a little bit black. So um, this is what we have here. And uh, we've got the little dimples, which you would drill a hole into the uh, pilot and uh, stick them in there, glue them and uh, they'll stick to your pilot for uh, quite a while until you uh, go ahead and disturb them and depends on how much force you use. <laughs> um, but yeah, look nice on the uh, GP9 and then I'll show you the AC44 which I have completed. Uh, I still have to put the ones I just showed you onto the rear of the GP9. So there's the ones on the AC44. I'll try and focus in on those. It was pretty hard to get them through the pilot and plow, but uh, or just the plow, sorry. And um, but they did turn out quite nice. Really happy with that. You do have to do a little bit of bending with them, but uh, they look quite all right uh, in my perspective, anyways. So, and I'll show you the rear of it, which I think looks pretty nice as well. And uh, there they are, right there. Now uh, I'm not sure if you notice. You might be able to notice on the uh, right there. Uh, you can see. Uh, something behind them and those are the MU cable holders which are prototypical for the GE units most of them anyways and um, so I had uh, fabricated some uh, using number 10 staples as I usually like to do and uh, I'm using those as the MU cable holders and I just stuck the MU cables over top of those holders so they're resting on top of them they look pretty nice and uh, really happy with them so the AC44 is done, I still have to do the rear of the GP9, but I'm still working on that on the pilot of that. Alright, so uh, those are the MU cables. Again, look fantastic. I left the receptacle ends silver because they stand out, look more prototypical anyways, so anyways, yeah. Um, now what else? Oh right, uh, got some uh, electrical stuff to talk to you guys about. Um, so I went to the Source Electronics uh, about a week ago and uh, I actually managed to uh, not only drop off a resume for a part-time job there, I have not gotten any uh, calls yet for an interview unfortunately, but I'm still waiting, still trying to put out uh, more at resumes and stuff. Um, I don't have any, job, any work experience, but uh, my mom made a resume for me anyways to uh, at least get some work ex uh, get something in and uh, so on so I'm still filling out applications too if I have to um, it's just to help me get the job faster but uh, yeah I went into the source and I uh, went ahead found some uh, lights that I was looking for and uh, also a resistor package and I'll show you guys those pack the packaging here so here are uh, two clear LEDs packaging. These are five millimeters. You can see in the top right here, and uh, they are 20 MA. So it'd uh, be 1.5 volt uh, when they start to operate, and uh, I think it's about a 4.5 volt maximum current uh, before they uh, go out. And these are by Next Tech. Uh, I you like the Next Tech stuff. It's uh, stuff that works for you and it's at a reasonable price. Um, so yeah, really happy with those. 
And here's another package of micro lamps. These are 12 volt micro lamps that I'm using on the uh, lamps back here. I'll actually turn those on. So you can see back there, those are 12 volts. And uh, there's the other lamp over there. I needed to replace the bulb on that, so that's why I picked up the package. So, but those look really nice, 12 volt attached to my 16 volt accessory uh, terminals on my Bachman power pack. And uh, then I got a resistor value package. And I was really surprised to find this. This is um, these resistors are one by eight, five percent carbon resistors, two of each. And there's 20 kinds of there, so that means uh, in all there was 40 resistors in the package. I'll actually show you. Let's see where I put them right in here. Uh, as you can see in there, those are all the resistors inside that. Uh, uh, pill bottle. If I can try and focus. There we go. So yeah, those are all the resistors there and uh, I think that I think I got a really great good deal uh, for five bucks each package being about five bucks and uh, the resistors, 40 resistors for five bucks is a, just a fantastic deal on my uh, part. So honestly, I'm quite happy with what I got. So, uh, yeah, that's what I basically got. Um, I don't think I've got anything else to uh, really go through the basics of, other than the fact that I will get started on to the uh, next update, next part of the update, and uh, show you guys uh, the results and some layout stuff. So, I'll see you in the next update, or uh, next part of the update, and uh, so on. So, see you then.